rescue sweeper flight for stranded Aussies in the Philippines. The Australian Embassy has partnered with the Philippine Airlines for a special flight to Melbourne. Now, as far as I understand, this is a one-off flight, which we'll get to in a minute. So we can see here on this article from the philtimes.com.au, which I'll put this in the link in the description below. The Australian Embassy, in coordination with the Philippines Airlines, has set up a special flight to bring home stranded Australian citizens and PR card holders. So the PR card, card holders are the um, permanent residents here in Australia who may be stuck in the Philippines. A dedicated user pays flight from Manila to Melbourne is scheduled Saturday 18th of April 2020 at 8.30pm. So that's this coming Saturday evening. Interested travellers may register for flights through there's the website there, as you can see, which we will, as I say, you'll be able to access this article through the link in the description. Flights are for Australian citizens, permanent residents and their immediate families. This includes sweeper flights to Manila from Bacalod, Cagandioro, Cataclan, Cebu, Davao, Dimagheti, Iloilo City, Puerto Princesa, Chiago. Taklaban and Taglabaran. Swiver flights will transit through either Cebu or Davao and then on to Manila. Manila to Melbourne economy tickets are 625 US dollars. So that's US dollars, not Australian dollars. Now, the Australian dollar will work out to be a bit more than that. Obviously, uh, we'll be probably looking around about eight or nine hundred dollars, I'd imagine. Economy tickets from regional centres to Melbourne. Uh, USD 775 you cannot terminate your journey in Manila as I say these flights are going from Manila to Melbourne so if you live anywhere else in Australia then you'll have to find your way from Melbourne to wherever you live these flights will probably be the best option for you to return to Australia and for many the only option for the foreseeable future so there are no other plans at this stage for any further rescue or sweeper flights out of the Philippines. So this might be your last opportunity. And bear in mind, when you do get back to Australia, you will be in for a 14-day uh, stay in some hotel or motel uh, as a forced quarantine measure. All flight arrangements will be made by Philippine Airlines, not by the Embassy. Philippines Airlines will contact you to arrange payment and ticketing after you've registered for the flights. So it says, please be patient as this will take some time, as I'm sure you're all used to in the Philippines. There's more information there about transport to the airport and problem with checkpoints. If there's an issue with your visa, so many of you may have overstayed your visa because, you know, you've, you've had no other choice with the lockdown and, and, and limited flights. So the Bureau of Immigration will be available at the terminal in Manila to resolve any visa issues. It says, please note, if you've overstayed your visa prior to the lockdown, you should contact the Bureau of Immigration in advance, as these issues may not be able to be resolved at the airport. And it gives you a link there where you can contact. They also talk about, do you plan to travel with, any, uh, with an immediate family member? Personal protective equipment, mandatory 14-day quarantine in Australia, which I've already mentioned. Onward travel following quarantine. So all the information's there. So that's this Saturday evening, 8.30 p.m., the 18th of April, 2020. Feel free to share and like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Press the bell icon for future videos. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate your support. Take care and bye for now.